United States Marshal Service. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Marshal Service. The U.S. Marshals are a federal law enforcement agency. In fact, the oldest law enforcement agency and falls under the Department of Justice. There's a lot to learn about them. We're going to go over what they do, their capabilities, missions, training, requirements, and most importantly, their special operations group. If you want the scoop on the U.S. Marshals, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. Headquartered out of Arlington, Virginia, the U.S. Marshals are located in 94 federal judicial districts throughout the United States, so they are scattered everywhere in the country. The U.S. Marshals have a lot of responsibilities and missions that they are tasked with. We're going to give you a quick list of their primary duties, then we will break them down briefly one by one. They're tasked with fugitive apprehension and investigations, transporting prisoners and JPATs, judicial security, prisoner services, witness security, asset forfeiture, and special missions and programs. We weren't kidding when we said they got a lot on their plate. The U.S. Marshals are very diverse. Okay, let's start off with fugitive apprehension and investigations. The Marshals are the federal government's primary agency for conducting fugitive investigations. The Marshals apprehend more federal fugitives than all other law enforcement agencies combined. To give you some numbers that showcase just how good they are at this, in 2014 they arrested more than 33,700 federal fugitive felons and cleared 36,800 federal felony warrants. And they arrest on average 361 fugitives every single day. They currently lead 60 district fugitive task forces and seven regional fugitive task forces dedicated to locating and apprehending wanted criminals. Needless to say, this is their bread and butter. Let's move on to transporting prisoners. The U.S. Marshals manage JPATS, which stands for Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System. JPATS is one of the largest transporters of prisoners in the world, handling more than 1,000 requests every day to move prisoners around. So yeah, they do a lot in this department. Now onto judicial security. They employ the latest security techniques and devices during highly sensitive trials throughout the nation in order to protect federal judicial officials such as judges, attorneys, and jurors. Prisoner services. We'll keep this one brief. The Marshal Service houses over 55,000 detainees in federal, state, local, and private jails throughout the nation. Okay, now we're on to witness security. We're sure you're familiar with the Witness Protection Program. The Marshals have a hand in that. They ensure the safety of witnesses who risk their lives testifying for the government in cases involving organized crime and other significant criminal activities. Since 1971, they have protected, relocated, and given new identities to more than 8,500 witnesses and more than 9,900 of their family members. As you can see, witness protection and security is a chief responsibility for the marshals. On to our second last item, asset forfeiture. They are responsible for managing and disposing of ceased and forfeited properties acquired by criminals through illegal activities. Currently, the U.S. Marshals manage nearly $2.2 billion worth of property. That's billion with a B. And last but not least, special missions and programs. The Marshals carry out hundreds of special missions related to its broad law enforcement authority. It also responds to homeland security crises and national emergencies. They accomplish this by means of the Special Operations Group, or SOG for short, which leads us into the next section of the video, the SOG. Let's go over it. Hey there, we hope that you're enjoying the video so far. General Discharge has a Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider joining the team. Link's in the description. Now back to the video. The Special Operations Group is a specially trained tactical unit composed of deputy marshals who can respond immediately to incidents anywhere in the United States or its territories. Based out of Camp Beauregard, the SOG is currently divided into four separate teams, with the four primary teams being subdivided into 12-man assault teams. SOG members receive training in helicopter insertions, 
propelling, precision shooting techniques, use of diversionary and distraction devices, close quarters battle, tactical field training, tactical movement, and other skills. They even have trained snipers, so there's a lot of opportunities for these warriors. So you're probably wondering, how do you get into the SOG? Well, for starters, any qualified marshal can volunteer for it. Applicants are put into a numerical scoring system, and those who make the initial cut from that are given an interview. If they get through that stage, then they must complete a 27-day training course that will test their limits. The selection course is designed to see how well candidates function under pressure, having training days that last for 15 to 17 hours, and challenges them physically, mentally, and academically. If they make it through and are selected, then they get assigned to an SOG team and go back to their original duties. So that's the scoop about the SOG. But what you need to know about the SOG is that to get into it, you have to become a marshal first. What does that consist of? Let's go over the training you'll have to go through, then we will wrap it up with the requirements to get into the US Marshals. And we'll leave you with some pretty cool videos you'll have to check out. So make sure to stay with us until the end. Before we get into the training, you need to know that the Marshals consist of other positions besides just law enforcement officers. They have accountants, budget analysts, and other administrative positions, as well as detention enforcement officers and aviation enforcement officers. We're going to mainly focus on the law enforcement side of the house here when it comes to the training and requirements. Now with that out of the way, in order to become a marshal, you have to go through the United States Marshal Service Basic Training Academy. This course is 21 and a half weeks long and is conducted at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glencoe, Georgia. The skills you'll learn at the school consist of this. Pause the screen if you want to take a longer look. Now that you know the training required, what are the requirements to join the marshals? While there are other requirements, we will stick to the important ones. You must be a US citizen, must be between the ages of 21 and 36. An older age is waiverable if you're a veteran, must have a bachelor's degree, one year of specialized experience, or a combination of education and experience equivalent to the GL07 level must successfully complete a background investigation and pass the Marshal's physical standard requirements. The physical test conducted for U.S. Marshals consists of a mile and a half run, one minute of push-ups, one minute of sit-ups, and a sit and reach test. We're going to show you pictures of the requirements. Pause the screen to take a longer look. Here are the pictures of those requirements for males, and here are the pictures for females. Now before you go, we got some information for you. If you're interested in other U.S. law enforcement agencies and entities, we've done videos on some of them. We got a video on the Secret Service, the FBI's hostage rescue team, and the FBI's SWAT teams. Go check them out if you haven't already. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Marshals Service. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step and supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Naja. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.